good afternoon my people we are still keeping to our promise that we will continue giving you educational bangers we don't care whether it's a new year eve but what is most important is to educate you more and more may i start by uh, appreciating you people for you have kept your promise you gave me a promise that before the end of the year i will have eat 10000 subscribers and now as we talk i'm at 10000 subscribers in fact 10000 plus and it's all because of your support that have been able to go that far and i do appreciate and as we approach the new year feel appreciated and i wish you all a prosperous new year and as you celebrate take care of yourself don't drink and drive uh, just be safe because you, we need you we need to this give to keep this family next year so that we may continue getting or benefiting from what we have been benefiting in this channel. Let's get back to our topic whereby we have been discussing about vomiting and we are almost winding up. It was one of the shortest topic. And today we will start by discussing prediction and prevention of vomiting. Can you pro predict that you are about to throw up or you are about to vomit? How can you predict that? So, predicting when you might vomit, before you vomit, you may begin to feel nauseous or nausea. Let me repeat this. Predicting when you might vomit, before you vomit, you may begin to feel nauseous. Nausea can be described as stomach discomfort and sensation of your stomach churning. Let me repeat this. Nausea can be described as stomach discomfort and sensation of your stomach churning. Young children may not be able to recognize nausea. So they may not be able to know whether they are about to vomit or to identify that feeling of nausea. But they may complain of stomach ache before they vomit or throw up. Let me repeat this. Young children may not be able to recognize nausea but may be may complain of stomach ache before they vomit let's talk about prevention how can you prevent yourself from vomiting you have already predicting predicted you feel nauseated you feel like vomiting so, how can you prevent this? How can you prevent this? So, when you begin feeling nauseated or nauseous, there are few steps you can take potentially to stop you from vomiting. When you feel nauseous or nauseated, there are few steps you can take potentially to prevent vomiting because vomiting has its, its side effects as we have been talking about and one of the most side effects is dehydration so we always make sure that one does not become dehydrated through vomiting so the following steps the following steps may help prevent vomiting before it starts. You have felt 
have predicted you are about to vomit. That's why when you, you feel like vomiting, if you are seated somewhere, you may wake up and go somewhere where nobody will see you. That means vomiting can be predictable. Because you, it has given you time to prepare yourself to walk away from maybe other people. Or if you are in a pub, it has given you time to walk from your seat to the latrine or the toilet where you, whereby you can vomit. That's why we say it's predictable. So, the following steps may help prevent vomiting before it starts. Number one. Take, take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. When you feel nauseated and you feel like vomiting, you can take deep breaths. And this may help to prevent vomiting. Number two, drink ginger tea. Drink ginger tea. All eat fresh, all candied ginger. Drink ginger tea or eat fresh or cardiac ginger. Number three, take over the counter medications to stop vomiting, such as peptobismol. Take over the counter drugs to stop vomiting, such as peptobismol. Number four, if you are prone to motion sickness, if you are prone to motion sickness, take over the counter and histamines. For example, drama, drama, dramamine. Dramamine or promethazine. Number five, suck ice cubes. If you suck ice cubes, it may help in stopping vomiting. Number six, if you are prone to indigestion or acid reflux avoid oily or spicy foods if you are prone to indigestion or acid uh, reflux avoid oily or spicy foods number seven sit down or lie down with your head and back propped up sit down or lie down with your head and back propped up and this will help in protecting uh, or preventing vomiting. A very important point to note. Vomiting caused by certain conditions may not always be possible to prevent. So if the vomiting is caused by certain conditions, it may, and even if you apply the above st steps, it's not necessarily, or it's not a must that it's going to stop. So vomiting caused by other conditions may not always be possible to prevent. For example, consuming enough alcohol to cause a toxic level in your bloodstream will result in vomiting as your body attempts to return to a non-toxic level. So this one you can't prevent by applying the above steps that vomiting caused by certain conditions may not always be possible to prevent. For example, if you consume, consume enough alcohol to cause a toxic level in your bloodstream will result in vomiting as your body attempts to return to a non-toxic level. This marks the end of our first video today. And uh, let's keep the support on and meet in our next video.